front where it says aims real big. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I have another big one for you, <laughs> a fun one too. In this video, I would be in Northeast PA. Now, I know in some of my train videos that I've done from Northeast or even abandoned videos from up there, Northeast is a town in Erie County in northwestern Pennsylvania. I know it doesn't make any sense. The town of Northeast is in the northeast corner of Erie County, bordering the Pennsylvania and New York border there. And it's just, I, I've never understood the name of that town being in the northwestern section of Pennsylvania, but that's irrelevant anyway. But just wanted to clear that up because some people thought they were correcting me when they said Northeast is not in Northwest PA. And I'm thinking, it is, it's a town. <laughs> anyway, uh, during this trip, I would be joined with my friend Chris from Stanton's Journeys and Stanton's Crossings. Go check out his channels. Tell him I sent you. Subscribe to him. He's a great friend of mine and uh, love him like a brother. So anyway, we would be having fun out there at the Lakeshore Railway Historical Society and uh, catch a few trains there for CSX. We would start off with an eastbound CSX intermodal, and it would have auto racks making up the second half of the train. We would find Scrib graffiti, Troll Slayers graffiti, and two white ninjas on this. And after the train would pass, we would find a couple of kids playing trackside on CSX property, dangerously close to the line that that train had just passed through on. Uh, they were playing around on a bridge. I'm not sure what they were up to, but uh, definitely could have been a bad situation for them uh, being as close to the tracks as they were. You'll see. Just watch at the very end of that first train. You'll see what I mean. Um, after we would catch that train, we would catch a westbound intermodal, and it would have a CSX SD70 Mac. It was a flared Mac, one I haven't seen before, or at least haven't paid attention enough to see if they were flared. I've seen a few Macs for CSX, but yeah, an SD70 Mac, which is an incredibly rare locomotive to find these days for CSX, but they seem to be going into the direction of getting new locomotives out and experimenting with various forms of power. That train itself would have Scrib graffiti on it as well. After we would catch that train, we would catch another eastbound CSX train. It would be what we call the Bobby train. <laughs> it would have a lot of trash cars on it with Bobby graffiti and BB, RB. If you've seen my videos from CSX, you'll understand. They tend to have a lot of those. Anyway, it would have really incredible graffiti on this one box car on the train. I mean, it, this person that did this graffiti had to have a couple of days at least to be able to do this. There's no way they got this done in an hour. Uh, you'll see. I'll pause the video as that box car enters the frame. It's incredibly good. And I'm not condoning vandalism of any kind at all, but this one was absolutely uh, impressive. So as the train would be approaching, though, my friend Chris would be silly running with the train, uh, racing it. I forget the move he calls it. If he comments on a video, he'll be able to tell you because I, I just it, it slips my mind. But he's racing it as it's coming up the tracks, and it gave us a great laugh. And uh, I even happened to catch it on the Lakeshore uh, Museum's live stream on YouTube where I did a screen recording of it and I got the footage which I'll put here at the end of the video so stay tuned for that you're not going to want to miss it it was a lot of fun after that train would take place we would catch another westbound CSX manifest led by locomotive number 16 sporting a YN2 paint scheme and while that train was coming through, we would catch a westbound Norfolk Southern Manifest coming through on their line, which would make up the remainder of that video. So, uh, anyway, with that said, let's go track. So I know this intro has been very long, but I wanted to explain in detail what you're going to watch so you know what to expect. So, with that said, let's go track side in Northeast PA at the Lakeshore Museum and catch some trains.
288 axles on this thing. One of the biggest intermodals I think I've ever heard of. got people walking along the tracks not supposed to be there Just waiting.
I can't tell. I don't think that's double stacks this time. I can't tell. It looks like box cars. Or it's single stacks.
railroad track had no wood stove in a one room shack. Shoestring was the only name he had. When I'd skip school, he'd take me fishing, sitting on the creek bank, talking and wishing things were good whenever times got bad. And the people say, Shoestring, you ain't got no money. Shoestring, you can't hang around here. Shoestring, you got your hat on backwards. He knows more than most folks do. But he don't talk unless you ask him to. When the winter comes and the wind blows me, Shoestring hops that southbound train, rides it down below that Florida line. But he's laying low and picking fruit, sleeping in his worn out shoes, but he'll always come back come summertime. And the folks say, Shoestring, you ain't got no money. Shoestring, you can't hang around here. Shoestring, you got your hat on backwards. He knows more than most. Don't talk unless you ask him to Last time I looked and found him gone Folks said he's in an old folks home Shoestring done retired on Uncle Sam He's living it up in his private room Playing checkers and eating prunes Shoestring ain't no ordinary man Still the people say shoestring You ain't